Good evening, everybody. We are here with yet another episode of Small Town Big Stories on All About Belgaum. This is a show where we chronicle the best things, places, people who have made the city proud. Today, we are at the very, very serene ambience here at ACPR, that is the Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion, commonly and popularly known as Gurudev Ranade Mandir, which stands at the topmost point in the Belgaum city, that is in Hindavadi. We are here today with a very, very famous lawyer, advocate, MB Jirli sir. Namaskar sir. Namaskar. Welcome to Small Town Big Stories. It is indeed a big story to be with Jirli sir, who is himself an accomplished advocate. We want to know more, sir, because very few people would know what ACPR is and the work of Gurudev Ranade. But first, I would like to know more about you, sir. Yeah, basically, I am a litigation lawyer, madam, for the last uh, 40 years. Yes. And uh, meanwhile, even I was uh, practicing in Supreme Court of India for a couple of years. Yes. Handling all interstate water disputes, border disputes. And thereafter, again, I have started my litigation work in Belgium and Darwad High Court. Right. And moreover, I am an agriculturist also interested in taking agriculture to a very great, uh, this one point. Along with that, I am also running a Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Society for the last uh, 23 years yeah. in the field of cooperation. Plus, little bit I am into politics also, not in a power politics. <laughs> uh, presently, I am the state spokesperson of Bharatiya Janata Party, Karnataka State. And moreover, I am the Secretary General of this particular Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion for the last 26 years. Wow. Yeah. and uh, That's quite a lot of roles you are handling, sir, very yes. successfully. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And uh, in the year 1997, Madam, uh, Gurudev Dr. R.D. Ranade's direct disciple, Professor N. R. Deshpande, mm. I was his student also and he was my spiritual teacher also. Okay. He brought me to this institution one fine morning, he instructed me that I should serve in this particular institution. Mm. In fact, I was not much knowing about the institution right. then, but thereafter, he gave me a book on Jeevan Darshan, Marathi book, mm -hmm. Jeevan Darshan of Gurudev Dr. R.D. Ranade and okay. instructed me to read that particular book. Okay. My journey of philosophy and spirituality started from that particular point of time, madam. Wonderful. We all know from our parents, especially my parents would remember very fondly that then President Dr. Radha Krishnan came here for the inauguration of this beautiful uh, place that is ACPR. So we would like to know more about the work and the significance of this academy, sir. See, Madam, this institution, Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion, but Belgama is known as a Gurudev Ranade Mandir. Yes. But uh, the registered name of this institution is Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion. Right. This was started in the year 1924 at Pune. Okay. Even the basic member hmm. uh, of this institution was Dr. S. Radhakrishnan also. Okay. Yeah. In the he year, was a member? Yeah. Well, oh, he was wow. a member of our institution. Okay. okay. And he started uh, in the year 1924 when Professor Ranade was serving in this Ferguson College, mm -hmm. Ekkan Education Society, Pune. Okay. And all you know that Pune is a is a Oxford for Indians yes. in educational and cultural field. Right. And he started there and he went on working in the name of this institution, publishing a great text like Constructive Survey of Upanishadic yes. Philosophy. And uh, even uh, Tukara Maharaj, uh, Amrutha, mysticism, mysticism of, uh, in Maharashtra, all saints in Maharashtra, yes. Uh, Dhaneshwar Maharaj, yes. Uh, mysticism. <laughs> he went on publishing so many acclaimed uh, books on the uh, Maharashtra saints. Yes. There it has started, madam. Yeah. Then thereafter, he shifted uh, 
to Allahabad University, Uttar Pradesh. Then it was a very big university in country. Yes. He was, uh, in fact, invited to that university by Professor Ganganath Jha mm. in the year 1925-26, madam. Mm -hmm. Then he was adjudged as the internationally acclaimed scholar in uh, Philosoph Sanskrit, Sanskrit and okay. philosophy and spirituality. Um, well, very uh, few people know this that he was such an accomplished uh, scholar and a philosopher and also the vice chancellor of Allahabad. Yeah, University. yeah, 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 ma'am. He served there uh, till 1944 and he retired as uh, philo uh, vice chancellor of Allahabad University. Hmm. He, in fact, served there for not less than 20 24 years in Allahabad wow. University. Quite a lot of uh, years. Then Madan Mohan Maluya, Malu. then Dr. Rajendra Prasad, mm. then Dr. Radha Krishnan, mm. Dr. Shankar Deyal Sharma. Mm. They were all his great admirers. Okay. Very great admirers. Okay. Because uh, they were pure philosophers. Yes. And Gurudev Dr. Rarade Ranade is known as a mystic philosopher of, yeah. philosopher of modern India. Yes. Right. Yeah. Absolutely right. The I think uh, ACPR has his entire works you have painstakingly collected and kept. I have seen the modern library that you have made on the first floor. Please tell more about the works of Gurudev Ranade. You have the entire collection. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma Before that, another question I have not answered yeah. about this institution. Yes, sir. Gurudev Dr. Rarade Ranade. Uh, he shifted the uh, Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion to Belgium mm. in the year 1952. Okay. The Patwardhan of uh, Patwardhan Sarkar, Sangli, Sangli. Patwardhan Maharaj. Okay. He gifted him this particular land in his individual capacity. Oh. But Gurudev thought that what I should do with the land. Ultimately, he created, he established this institution in Belgium. And he gave that particular land to this particular institution. Okay. And in the year 1964, the foundation stone for this particular headquarter building was laid by then finance minister of the Karnataka, that is B.D. Jatti. Later on, he turned out to be the president of the country yes. and chief minister of Karnataka. Yes. Then he was also the follower and great admirer of uh, Gurudev Dr. R.D. Ranade. Yeah. Because Gurudev Ranade was born at Jamkandi hmm. and B.D. Jati is also from Jamkandi. Jamkandi okay. Then on 15 Tolu 1965, Madam, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, then the president, president of, of India, India and we used to call him as King Philosopher. Okay. Philosopher King. He only on a simple letter written to him huh. by then trustees, hmm. he volunteered to come to Belgium. That's when Dr. Ranade was, was no not more. There, not okay. No more. Okay. Because Gurudev Dr. Ranade Ranade passed away uh, in 1957. Huh. And this particular headquarter building was inaugurated on 15 12, 1965 okay. at the gracious hands of Yes Radha Krishna. At that time, Chief Minister of Karnataka, Nidlingapa, was also part of that particular okay. function. B.D. Jatti sir was also part of that particular okay. function. And this headquarter building was then posthumously uh, inaugurated oh. by S. Radha Krishna. That, that actually shows how much respect he held for Dr. Ranade. Years after his passing away, he made sure that he attends the inauguration of the center, which was his dream. Yeah, yeah, very true, ma'am. Very yeah. true, very true, ma'am. He had a very great uh, personal admiration towards uh, Gurudev Dr. R.D. Ranade because always he used to tell one thing mm. that uh, we know philosophy, but Gurudev Ranade lives philosophy. Oh, that uh, those exemplifies are, by actually uh, living by, those yeah, by living those values, yeah. the ethical part of life, and uh, teaching philosophy leaving philosophy, right. teaching philosophy. Yes. Hence, they were all uh, mad about uh, Gurudev. That Dr. was a rare Ranade. kind of a generation, perhaps rare people who actually uh, walk the talk as we say. Very true, very true, madam. So, let's come back to the books part, which is yeah. a legacy that is left behind by yeah. Dr. Ranade. During his lifetime, why Gurudev Dr. <coughs> R.D. Ranade is so famous in the world of philosophers in the entire world community is hmm. 
that Gurudev Dr. R. D. Ranade, madam, he has written mystical literature of all the saints of the country. Okay. That is his greatest contribution. And no philosopher has done it. He has written mystical literature of all the top saints of Maharashtra, including okay. Naneshwar Maharaj, Tukara, Tukara Eknath, Maharaj, yeah. Eknath Maharaj, yes. Namdev Maharaj, yes. Samart Ramdas. Yes. And other saints, saints also, as well. other saints also, like uh, uh, Janabai mm -hmm. and uh, Bhakta Kumbar, mm. so many saints, Janardhan Swami, mm. Choka Mela, yeah. he has written um, tremendous... Uh, all these literature. books are today we available have, we, have, we have published all these books. All the books. All the books. And another thing I wanted to tell you, madam, not only this, mm. Gurudev Ranade had written elaborately on the mystical uh, part of the saints of northern, uh, northern North India, India also, well. including wow. Kabir, Tulsi Das, yeah. very great uh, saints and Karnataka uh, mystics, hmm. pathway to God in Karnataka, yes. le uh, Kannada literature. So that's such a broad view and broad so view. deep study of philosophy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he is saying is, madam, one world, one world, one religion, and one humanity. One humanity. This is relevant even today. Even today. It is very much relevant today. Yes. And it is being appreciated by all the philosophers of the world, madam. Right. See, I had an occasion to participate in uh, international philosophy conferences, madam, hmm. wherein I have taken the literature of Gurudev, uh, about Gurudev Ranade and about the literature written by Gurudev Dr. R.D. Ranade. And the, so many international philosophers used to interact with me and they said that I is on today if Indian philosophy we want to know we used to read about Gurudev's works. You can't understand Indian philosophy without reading his without works. Without reading Gurudev Ranade's works. Amazing. Amazing. You mentioned about pathway to God. You yeah. have still continued yeah, that yeah, publication yeah, yeah. and yeah. in fact it goes all over the world. That yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. very regularly contributed publication as well. Very true madam. We have got a uh, publication uh, department here. Yeah. Gurudev always believed that rather than constructing big mansions, big buildings, mm -hmm. we should go on publishing, publishing very books. good books. Right. Very good so books. So true. And always he claims that you don't worry about building big merchants. Mm. You must preserve the knowledge yes. to the generations to come. Hence, madam, I would like to tell you that during his lifetime, entire lifetime, he has written around 30 books. 30. And so many articles published in international journals. Yes. In the last six months, madam, we have collected all the works written by Gurudev Ranade. All written by and written about no, him. No, no, no. Written by Gurudev, Dr. By Gurudev we have collected every material, Everything. every book, every article because that span of time is around 40 years. Okay, huge span. Huge span. Even he has written critical comments on uh, Lokman Tilak's Gita Rahasya, mm -hmm. so many things. Mm -hmm. And we have collected everything and his monumental works are constructive survey of Upanishadic Upanish. philosophy and Bhagavad Gita is a means of God realization yes. and uh, about Vedantas yes. and mystical literature of all the saints of the country and European right. this one. He was knowing Greek, he was knowing uh, uh, this uh, French, uh, he was master in so many languages and hence we are now planning because next year would be our centenary year madam. On 1st August 1925, we are going to inaugurate the centenary year here. 24. 24, madam. 24. Uh, the day on which we are expecting President of India to oh. come and inaugurate. And even RSS chief, hmm. uh, Mananiya Sarasan Chalakji, Mohanji Bhagavat, okay. is likely to be part of that particular function. But that's a milestone event. It yeah. was in 1924 when he established ACPR in Pune. And it's going to be 100 years and thankful, we are all thankful to you sir that you have carried forward his legacy with the help of you know many other like-minded people but you have led this movement by organizing 
a string of events very regularly and the publication part. Yeah. So we want to know more about the events that ACPR, you, you organize regularly. See madam, we are basically not a populist people. Gurudev Dr. Ranade never advised us to go for a populist activities. Mm -hmm. He always believed that philosophical and spiritual work should be conducted very secretly. Okay. Mm, that was his advice. Don't believe in advertising. Don't ah. believe in populist activities. Do qualitative work. Okay. It will spread as, uh, as Speak per its less, quality. do more do kind more of like process. that. And we are into um, promoting meditation here. Yes. We are into conducting so many classes for younger generations to know how to make how to sit in meditation, how right. to do meditation and reading the spiritual text, do some sadhana every day. Yes. Then very important part of our institutional work is publication. Madam. Mm. We are into publication of all the books. We are not advocating any, any one language. Yeah. We are not advocating any one uh, religion right. or one a stream of philosophy mm. because the name of the institution is Academy of Comparative, Comparative Philosophy, philosophy and, religion. and Religion. Right. The the person who is really interested, purely interested in philosophical uh, understanding of the ultimate reality, yes. God, he is most welcome here. He right. may be Muslim, he may be Christian, yes. he may be Sikh. He may be Hindu, he may be Lingai. I have anybody. been uh, attending these events, sir, of all religions which you organize here. And wonderfully organized and immensely talented and intelligent people of depth of thought come here and they uh, share their knowledge. I want to know more. Your focus of late has been on students, yes. college students, college teachers, and you have done phenomenal work for them. You have organized conferences, you do frequently lectures, seminars, 4th, 5th, 6th June, you do the Punyatithi of uh, Gurudev Ranade, where you invite people from all over the country. Please tell us more, why this focus on students? See, uh, the present uh, era is the era of information, madam. In a way, it has helped a lot to the unprivileged people also to have the knowledge across the globe. Yes. But from other point of view, even it is spoiling our uh, uh, skill development and regarding morality and ethics, nobody is bothering. See, Gurudev always advocated that student and professors and teachers should be ethically and morally very strong. Yes. That is the Indian culture. Yes. And imbibing the character, building the character, and with all the ethical standard and moral standard is very much important. Right. Hence, we have to promote the student's understanding of spiritual world, philosophical world first. India is known as a state, is a nation of, uh, this is uh, spirituality yes. in the entire world community. India never invaded any country in its history, madam. Right. We there went, is unity in its plurality yeah, as yeah, well. We went with our knowledge. Yes. We invaded the people's heart, <laughs> taking our love and affection and right. real and knowledge. knowledge. Yes. Hence, that basic thing we wanted to take up and okay. taking to the students through students. Hence, we are focusing on students and we are promoting, even we are now starting meditation training classes for Yes, it's still students, mm -hmm. madam, okay. fortnightly. I remember a few years ago you started the uh, UPSC uh, training yes. library where you have all the books, uh, students can just come and avail of all the books which are required for competitive exams, all kinds of exams. Yeah. I wish we could show around uh, the entire premise and the library which is on the first floor as well, but because of paucity of time, we may not be able to do yeah, so. But yeah. that center, I would like to know more. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, madam, so many students, unprivileged CPA students who are so poor. Yes. They don't have place to sit and read in their own homes. They don't have books to read. They don't know how to go about. But in spite of that, they wanted to go for 
competitive exams, ma'am. Yes. Hence, we, we thought that we should start a library. Yeah. Then Rotary Club of Belgium, I, I should uh, thank them. Mm. They have come forward to support our event and we have started library. Okay. Uh, promoting and facilitating the students who are really poor. Yeah. Uh, they can come, sit, study and we have purchased around 10 lakh rupees books on oh. that. Competitive exam Competitive books. examinations. And this is a point to remember that competitive exam books are available at ACPR and uh, those who require can come and make use of those books. And as you said, ambience is so beautiful. Yes. And this is around two and a half acre premises. Okay. We are not letting this institution to be used for any commercial yes. purposes. We, we allow the people to conduct uh, functions relating to yoga, yeah. relating to religion, relating to philosophy, spiritual music, is uh, there. music uh, relating to spirituality. spirituality. Hence that particular uh, holistic, uh, and, uh, holistic uh, this one is being The sanctity of the center is, is being maintained. maintained very beautifully here. We have seen so many students from, from the time we were in college, we have seen students coming and studying here. Especially during summers, they sit under the trees as well. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Another thing I wanted to share with you, ma'am, is yes. this year we have started digitalization of all our books. Yes. In three groups we are making. See, the day one, on 1 1924, this institution has been started till date. Mm. Whatever books we have published, madam, mm. we are digitalizing. Okay. So the entire collection of books it's written published by, published by ACPR, published by ACPR are going to be available online, online for anybody free of, free of cost. Okay. Of course. That's a wonderful way of reaching out and actually adhering to what he, he said, as you said, yeah, that yeah. give and share knowledge freely. And second group is, madam, huh. books written by Gurudev Ranade. Hmm. They are very valuable books. Uh, we wanted to make it available to the entire world community. Okay. Even the students sitting in Washington, D.C., New York, London mm -hmm. School, uh, London School, yeah. in Australia, he can refer our books, Gurudev Ranade's books, or books published by our ACPR. Mm -hmm. They can easily accessible through this particular digitalization, madam. Okay. And third group is, madam. So many scholars like Bhairappa, top philosophers of the country have written so many comment, uh, commentaries on Commentary. the works of Gurudev Ranade, on the okay. life of Gurudev Ranade. Okay. We have we are also going for a digitalization of those books. So these will be available on Wikipedia? Wikipedia. Hmm. Fortunately, we have our understanding with Wikipedia, Wikibase. Okay. We have already done our agreement with them. Hmm. We have already started digitalization hmm. and creation of metadata wow. and uploading on the Wikimedia, madam. I think this is one work which is going to change yeah. the way, you know, this is accessed all over the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. access all over, all the, over world. the world. Free knowledge. Yeah. Free knowledge. Otherwise, it would have been limited to this center or wherever the libraries are. Yeah. Now, anybody can access books by Ranade Ji, by Dr. Ranade and publications of on ACPR. Guru, of ACPR and guru, literature on Gurudev Ranade. On Gurudev Ranade as guru. well. That's amazing. And this is happening very much from Belgaum. That is the small town big story what we see. This is the big story that the entire works of Dr. Ranade are now going to be available on Wikipedia very soon. Very soon, very yeah. soon. And another important thing is this is being done under the ACPR the archives. Oh, okay. Right. We have we have now a network with Oxford University, madam. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Australian universities, New York universities. Oh. Uh, because wherever Gurudev Ranade's followers are there, madam. Okay. We have got connected to them through this okay. particular digitalization work. Okay. And uh, everywhere this particular message we wanted to spread, spread, madam. Okay. And the books written by Gurudev Ranade, madam, it is a, it is a preservation of Indian yes. basic culture, madam. Yes. On the essence of Indian philosophy, philosophy. is there in yes, that. Madam. Yes, yeah. madam. I think uh, uh, all philosophers over the world, as you said, they have to read his works to understand the sense of Indian philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. his works on the saints, the mystic saints, 
and the Upanishads, what both Dr. Radhakrishnan, but majorly by Dr. Ranade, the books are available here. There's such a lot of work you have done, sir. It's your dedicated efforts, I think, that are bearing fruit. This entirely revamped building, you should visit here once and bring your kids here. Please do come, especially for the younger generation. Please do visit the Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion. So I would like to know, uh, as a last question, what are your plans for the near future? See, the thing is that Gurudev Ranade was very much influenced even by Immanuel Kant, mm. a German philosopher, Socrates, Plato, regarding this particular academy. Mm. Academy has its own meaning, madam, mm. originally. Academy is a free lance thinking forum mm. of the world, madam. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it should be very moonshine yeah. with no pillars. Right. It is God's moonshine. Yeah. They wanted to build. Hence, Socrates always used to say that student should always understand that I know nothing. I know nothing that I don't know. Ah, okay. I, I know that. I uh, know nothing. Yeah. That was uh, the great say of uh, This Socrates. particular thing is there even in the Upanishads. Yeah. The moment you know that you don't know, hmm. that is when actual learning begins. Begins. Hence, these things we should impart to the students, yes. younger yes. generation. And we are planning, madam, uh, to go for construction of one meditation center here. Okay. Uh, on the eve of this centenary year, we okay. are planning, madam, okay. a beautiful uh, meditation center because meditation is common in all the religions yes. in the world. Yes. It is and the silent language of the soul to the universe. You beautifully can. put it. Yeah. You have said very beautifully, madam. And yes. so we are planning that. Along with that, we wanted to go for a modern research library in the philosophies and religions of the world. Okay. That is second, uh, this one. Oh, philosophies and religions of the world. world. Wow, here only, sir. Yeah, here only. And okay. very importantly, we wanted to publish in volumes the complete works of Gurudev Ranade. My God, mm, that, that, that would be a, mm. a great work, sir. And another thing is that we are uh, uh, into, into touch with all the best institutions in the world. Around uh, around 100 universities we have already contacted where philosophy department is working. Okay. Uh, and we are inviting them to the national conference on the works and life of Gurudev Ranade. Wow. Them, madam. Okay. This is the big event. This is organizing. what is going to be happening. Yes, ma'am. So how do you find time to do all of this? You are so active in your legal practice, social life, finance, and uh, you are also uh, involved with BJP work. How do you find time and how do you unwind? What are your hobbies? Yeah, recent past, madam, I am like, I am uh, into this agriculture. I am spending more time on agriculture and okay. uh, on this particular institution. Yeah. Even my practice is now qualitatively very less. Only in important matters I am appearing. And uh, even in uh, political activities, only on a theoretical part I am concentrating. Yes. And uh, see, I am also now 63 years old. Your um, kids have hmm, accomplished have themselves, accomplished. sir. Yeah, yeah. And uh, see, uh, whenever I used to find time, I usually used to spend time in Mandir only. Yeah, here. Uh, here or in or, my farm. Yes, yes. These are the two options. <laughs> you, I will take you also to my farm. We have seen the pictures we have not seen the yeah, farm. Madam, and uh, this is a wonderful activity, madam. Yeah. See, man should devote some time, madam, on non-material uh, uh, subjects. <laughs> so Where true. we are not expecting anything, right. but uh, eagerly, devotedly doing something towards God's realization. So you are actually living the philosophy of Gurudev Ranade? Yes, I am trying, madam. Not yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> so it's it's been a pleasure interacting with Advocate M. B. Zirli, such a grounded person. Although he is busy in several activities. But I urge every single person in Belgaum to please come and see the ACPR center here, Academy of Comparative Philosophy and Religion. Everybody sees this while coming and going, you know, it's Gurudev Mandir, Ranade Mandir, we know this. We have never come here. You should come. I have been associated for several years, over a decade now, and very closely seen the work. Come and visit the library. It's a modern library, very, very appealing color, appealing lights, and it's a peaceful and serene environment. 
please do come and visit and let us share in the pride of the work that acpr is doing all over the world in the upcoming centenary year sir our best wishes that this philosophy this great person's thoughts stay on forever and ever in this world with we will meet with yet another story that makes belgam proud signing off for small town big stories this is swati zo thank you so much